What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to sit down and show you guys how I organize my entire life, personal and work, and all of the tools that I use to kind of organize literally everything. I realize I show you guys in my vlogs everything that I do on a daily basis, but I never show you guys how I organize it, like actually on the computer. So today is the video where I'm going to share everything that I use and hopefully this video can help some of you guys out because if you guys are anything like me, you guys are a sucker for some good project management tools to organize your life better, to save money. I also did wanna thank Capital One Shopping for partnering with me on this video. I cannot wait to share more about them, but if you guys love saving money like I do, you will definitely wanna stick around for when I talk about Capital One Shopping. The very first thing I wanna talk about is something that I really could not organize my life without. Even if I had all the project management tools, even if I had all of these other features, like this app has saved my life. Everything in my entire life centers around Google Calendar. I plan all of my trips on there. I plan whenever I'm going out of town. I plan when people are visiting me. I plan when a video is going up, when a podcast is going up, when I need to have something do by. I plan just my day-to-day -day life. So if I have a call, if I have a meeting, everything is synced to my Google Calendar and everything goes on my Google Calendar. People know that if I don't have it on my Google Calendar, I am not remembering it. I used to use a physical planner and in college, I only used a physical planner. I actually didn't use any digital planner. And now I'm kind of looking back like, how did I do that? And it worked really well for me. And I was one of those people that was like, I need to have something physical that I write down. I'm old fashioned. I like pen and paper and times have changed. So now I do everything on Google Calendar. Nothing is pen and paper, at least for organizing my day. I also color code everything for YouTube, for my podcast, for when stuff is due, for meetings, for my agency, for my Patreon. So everything has a color so that I know exactly what it is when I look at it, especially at an overview, I can kind of see what my week consists of. As for meetings, I have been using Google Hangouts or Zoom and they go straight to my Google Calendar as well. So for Google Hangouts, for example, I'll just schedule a meeting on there and then it automatically populates a Google Hangouts button, which personally I find really easy. But if we're doing consultations, I actually use Zoom and I use something called Acuity Scheduling. This is owned by Squarespace and I use that and then it goes straight to my Google Calendar, but it also auto populates a zoom link really the only time i prefer zoom is when i do need to record a session so i like recording my consultations and i also like recording my podcast so i'll use zoom for that but other than that google hangouts has worked fine for me so on my google calendar i really do have everything people send me invites on there anytime i am emailing anyone and we set up a meeting and they're the one setting it up i always make sure to ask please send me a google calendar invite and i make sure that they know to send me a google calendar invite because things have happened where they have actually forgotten to send me an invite and I don't show up to the meeting or I don't show up to the call and it's really embarrassing and it's really awkward and I will say it is definitely my responsibility but I always try to emphasize like please send me this calendar invite so I don't forget because if they have a phone number they want me to call if they have a link that I need to go to it can all just be right there so that is how I kind of organize just my entire life on a calendar perspective and with things that I need to to do and for due dates. So anything that requires a date and a time is going on Google Calendar. But not all of my projects are on Google Calendar. I don't have agency deadlines on Google Calendar. I actually like using a project management tool called ClickUp. And this is actually one of my favorite ways to manage all of my projects and really anything that I have to do, I kind of put on ClickUp and it's a great all-in-one platform. And I have actually committed to ClickUp because I bought the annual subscription. So it is one thing that I will say that I like better than all the other project management tools. Uh, it really has everything. It's a little complicated. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to use it, but I really do like the functionality and the features. So I committed to a annual subscription. So it's something that I will be using for a long time. So on ClickUp, you have these things called spaces. You have a workspace and then you have spaces in your workspace. Your workspace is kind of your overall um, workspace, I guess, where you can invite your team, you can invite collaborators. I have my entire YouTube team and social media team, and then I also have my agency team, and they're kind of all in one. So in my spaces, I have a few, and this is where I like how I can separate it really, really nicely. I have my social media as one space, my podcast as another space, my Patreon as one space, a personal one that is really just me, no one else has shared to it. I have a new project that I'm working on, and then I also have my agency as another space. So 
those are all of my spaces and that's kind of how I organize my life and my brain in thinking in those components. So on my personal workspace, I have a to-do list which I update every single day. And on this to-do list, it's just a typical to-do list and it, I like it because since it is digital, anything that I don't get done, I just transfer over to the next day and it's still on my to-do list. So this is something I check off every single day, anything that I need to do, random errands. Since it's around the holiday season, I actually have a list for holiday gifts and I promise I created this a month ago because I was like this year I am going to be known for giving amazing gifts because I always feel like I really give gifts last minute I don't really plan for my gifts and I was like no this year I'm giving amazing gifts <laughs> And so I did also want to create a list for my holiday gifts. And I use Capital One Shopping to help me find all of the best deals. When shopping for gifts for the holidays or even shopping for myself, I have been using Capital One Shopping. I did want to thank Capital One Shopping for sponsoring today's video. Capital One Shopping is a simple and free way on how to save money while shopping online. You no longer need to search the internet and test out all these coupon codes just to find out that none of them actually work. You just add Capital One Shopping to your browser and it automatically adds the coupon codes into your cart and it also has a little pop-up that lets you know if there's a better offer when you're searching on sites like amazon target and a bunch of other sites this helps me save money especially when i'm shopping during the holiday season when i need to buy things for a lot of different people in my life it has already helped customers save 160 million dollars in the last year you can use it with google chrome safari mozilla firefox and microsoft edge and you can get started in just a few seconds by clicking on my link down below thank you so much capital one shopping for sponsoring today video and that is how I've even organized my holiday shopping for example like I have become an organized queen so just keep in mind this space is private because I don't want any other people to see what I have either on my to-do list or even in my holiday gift list like I don't want people knowing that because I'm definitely buying gifts for my team and I don't want to ruin the surprise <laughs> I get to put the link how much I spent who I still have to buy Christmas presents for in ClickUp so it just makes it so easy when I am shopping for the holidays as for my social media tab I am now communicating with my manager through ClickUp, which has been really, really, really nice. Separate all my personal social media accounts, which accounts for YouTube and Instagram. Those really are my only personal ones that I would say. And so now I include all of my sponsorships on both of those platforms on ClickUp in separate folders. So I include when the preview needs to be done by, I include when the sponsorship is gonna go up and I add them all in ClickUp so that I can see all of my sponsors in one space and we can communicate on there. She can add comments. She can tell me, hey, this brand needs XYZ, it's approved, it's not approved, and she can just put it right there so we're always kind of in contact. It's just one organized file rather than sifting through Gmail and searching through a bunch of emails. And then I also include a monthly overview with YouTube. So it's called for this month, November GVS, which stands for November Goals, Videos, and Sponsors. And on there, I actually include all of my goals on there. So those are all my goals for the month of November, just so me and her can both see them and I can just kind of keep track on them and see, okay, listen, this isn't hitting this goal. I need to do something else to hit it, you know? So those goals are really important to me. And so I like seeing them on there. And then I also have the videos I'm uploading in November along with the sponsors that I have that are going live in November. Then I have another space for my podcast. Similar to YouTube, I have a November GPS. So <laughs> goals, podcasts, and sponsors. My podcast, I really don't have a lot of sponsors for, so it's not really a big on that sense, but I like having the episodes on there of which podcasts are going up this month and then also who is doing the Instagram takeovers because I am implementing that again into my podcast. I also have goals for my podcast um, similar to the videos and I've never set goals for my podcast before. So I'm really curious to see if it actually helps it pick up now that I do have actual like like numerical goals that I can see if I hit or not. And then I also have a social media management tab because I did just hire a social media manager exclusively for the podcast. So I will be communicating with her on there and we're gonna have a lot of stuff like mood boards, approvals, um, the Instagram takeovers she'll kind of be taking control of, any ideas that she has, she can write it on there. Then I have another space for my Patreon and this is where I have any upcoming content. I will admit I need to get better at this. We do have a lot of lives that we do. We do two live streams a month, which is 
always very exciting. But I also need to plan my content better and more accordingly. So I'm kind of using ClickUp to organize that and to see what I need to do and to just have a running list of ideas. Because for me, that's the biggest thing. I need to have a running list of ideas. And if I have it on ClickUp, rather than I used to use another app called MindNode, um, it's just nice having it all in one space instead of having it in a bunch of different apps. And that way, whenever I need to make content for the Patreon, I can look at all my running list of ideas and check that I've created that content and upload it. And that way I'm never running out of things that I need to work on because the biggest frustration is running out of ideas. So whenever I have a running list, which I'm so glad that I do now, it always just helps to create more content and honestly better content. Sometimes if you are forced to create content in the moment, it actually turns out horribly because you're just kind of forcing something and you haven't really thought it through. But sometimes you'll randomly get a burst of ideas on a Tuesday night. And so it's just good to dump it there so that when you have, uh, I guess like a brain fart or like you're in a creative funk, you don't have any ideas, you can look at that running list and that's just helped me out a lot. As for my agency, this is where I have the rebranding process where I have invited my graphic designer on there. So she's been uh, sending me updates with like the new logo, the new web design, uh, and we can communicate on there rather than through text or through email. And then I can also give like a rating. I can give her, I can give comments on what I want to improve. She can upload different versions on there. So it's really, really helpful. So I also have all my clients in separate lists because I need to separate them and have them all differently. So I have all my clients in separate lists and then I have another folder for old clients. And this is where I store any old clients of mine. I still wanna keep all of their stuff on file in case anything is useful for the future or in case we pick up, pick it back up again but it's just really useful to still have that there. And I like ClickUp because I can assign it to people. So like if I need Hani to do something, I assign it to her, I give her a due date and add a comment, like telling her what I need to do. And it's a great way to communicate without actually being like in an office together, communicating back and forth. So that's really what I love. And I really love using it for my agency. Like it's just so helpful and it streamlines everything. And it's so nice to kind of keep all the files in one place. And then I also have just my own files. So for the agency, any files, any materials that Hani might need that new person might need that maybe someone's asking a question about we can just find it on there it's not kind of all over the place and then lastly with files as well I also have Google Drive with my consultations I have a bunch of folders with every single client and I put it on Google Drive because I actually share each individual folder with a client I don't want to have them all on my ClickUp workspace so it's really easy just to share Google Sheets share a Google folder with people so anything that I'm trying to share um, that might not be added to my team they're not a part of my team I'll put onto Google Drive and that has been super super helpful so that is kind of how I manage my entire life. I know that was a lot, but I did want to just say that it's something that has taken me years to perfect and perfect is such a long way away. I mean, I don't even think it's perfect right now. There's always more things that I wanna have or there's always more functions that I want, but this is something that has helped me. And I also did wanna give a huge thank you to Capital One Shopping because if you guys are shopping for the holidays, if you guys are just shopping in general, they're an amazing place to save some money. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. That was the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys have any other questions or want a part two to this, let me know. Um, my vlogs also will show you how I use them in real time. So if you guys wanna check those out, feel free and comment down below any other questions that you guys might have but anyways thank you again capital one shopping for sponsoring today's video and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys